Hey guys, this is a quick guide on how to install mods and get them to work with Rage MP and more case specifically for me, GTA World. What you will need is three things. The files that you downloaded that you want to install, those being either a YTD or a DLC file. Archive fix to re-encrypt and open IV to place and or edit those directories within uh, GTA 5. So first, assuming that you have your files that you want to install, I recommend you make two new directories, one being clean, one being modded. Within these, you'll see that I've pulled down copies of not only the weapons RPF, which is where my weapon texture will be placed, but the DLC RPF, which is where the weapons.rpf resides. You can see that down here. So once you've pulled those from the proper directory, of course, you have to be in edit mode. This can be done simply through just drag and drop. I won't do that, I've already done it, but go in to open IV and we're now going to wanna to place our texture files. To do that, file, open archive. You'll see that I have gone to the folder I've made modded. These are gonna be the ones that we will touch and edit. First, we're gonna to wanna to open weapons.rpf. You'll see it always places it at the bottom. That's perfectly fine. Within this, we now can locate W, me, bad, or locate your texture file. Either navigate through the list, or what I recommend, is search at the top. You will generally see two files, one being a drawable object, you don't modify those at all, and one being the texture dictionary, which is what the game draws all these textures through. You can actually double click and open this, you'll see your texture in there. Of course, I've already installed the mod, so it's currently present. I recommend you open those also just so you can see and verify what you're actually editing is true. So now that we know that's verified, very easy. When you're in edit mode, simply right click the file, replace. There's our file, double click, open, you're done. File, close archive. Now we've basically closed our modded version of weapons RPF. This is where Archive Fix comes in. If you're not familiar with the command line, the developers of Archive Fix have made it very easy. Simply just drag the weapons RPF on top of the Archive Fix EXE. It's gonna give you a bunch of bullshit telling you that, okay, great. You've dragged it on, kind of gives you a shtick about that, but it's been done, it's been modified, it's good to go. Hit any key to close. Now that the weapons RPF is encrypted, we need to now place that within the DLC RPF. Doing so, same process, file, open archive, modded, this case DLC RPF. You'll see at the bottom it's going to place it again. You're still in edit mode. Drill down into the directory. There's your weapons RPF. Take this whole, now, this whole file that is now encrypted you can either drag and drop it, or what I prefer to do, right click the file we're intending to replace. Place, be sure of course in the modded. So we've essentially placed this now encrypted weapons.rpf in the dlc.rpf, but because we have done that, it is no longer encrypted. As you can see, we've just completed that placing. So file, close the archive, we've just closed DLC RPF. Go back into archive fix once more, repeat the same process. It's gonna tell you same thing you've placed, you didn't use command line, da 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 da, but it's done and it's been packed. Close, and you now have an encrypted DLC.rpf that now contains the weapons.rpf encrypted, everything's good to go. So, final and one most critical step, we need to go back into that original directory where we made the backup and edit the actual live game version. So, go to patch day three, top of the tree and for a third time repeat the process right click replace or drag and drop double click your dlc and done file if you're not going to be continuing anything just hit exit go ahead and you launch your game as you normally would you should not encounter any errors log in check it out see if everything's working in some cases if you encounter that it bugs out or looks distorted that is the plus to having your clean files you just simply need to overwrite the original dlc follow the last step 
or ultimately, if it's still not working, run your game verification on Steam.